Hi, I'm Lulu Lamb Chomp. I got stabbed by a crazy woman in the bathroom at the bus terminal. Will you help me get better? That's a bad cut. I'm gonna have to give you some local anesthetic and then stop right there. I don't want any needles. Now, come on, I've got to use some sutures. Let me ask you something. Are you f deaf? I said no needles, you stupid idiot. This is my body. I get to say what happens to it. Nobody makes Lulu bleed and gets to live, ever. Okay, okay, calm down. I have an idea that might work, but it's not standard of care and you're gonna have to sign consent saying that you want this alternative method of wound closure and we talked about the risks and benefits. So the first step is to shave off any hair on the edges of the wound. Back tangles! Gross. And then irrigate the wound as you would normally. I then like to wipe off the skin with an alcohol prep, both to remove excess moisture and also get any oils off the skin so that tissue adhesive adheres strongly. The next step is to apply tissue adhesive on the sides of the wound and then take pieces of silk tape with the ends folded over and place the sticky sides over where you put the wound adhesive and leave the little folded over tabs free just a couple of millimeters shy of the wound margins. Keep them in place until they're really firmly bound to the patient and then you're going to sew through the tabs. You have to use a mattress suture like a vertical mattress to keep from slipping through the tape and I recommend using a braided suture because it has a bit more grip. Silk is always good. And then you just tie that suture down, and as you can see, the wound margins pull together really nicely. That doesn't hurt at all! You just repeat the process for however many tabs you have along the side of your wound and tie those knots nice and tight. No needle ever touches the patient. The final step is to use your tissue pickups and apply a little bit more adhesive, whether it's Dermabond or Indermill or some other substance, um, along the uh, superficial wound margins. Again, no needles are used, um, and you just want to give it a little bit of extra support right there. There should be no tension on that wound. And as you can see, I give it a good tug there, and the wound is nicely brought together. This is a good technique for your needle-phobic patients, but it's also especially useful for wounds that are under a lot of tension. If you bring together a wound like that with only sutures, all that force that's needed to pull the wound margins together is distributed in a narrow band of suture that's then pressing down into the tissue, and it's a lot more likely to cause ischemia underneath. With this method, the force is distributed out over a much larger area, and there's less tension on any one part of the wound. This is especially useful for patients who need a wound closed over several days because each time they return, you can put another suture through the same tab and apply more tension each time, bringing the wound margins closer and closer together on each subsequent visit. Tee hee! I'm feeling considerably less tension now that you're taking care of me, you big dreamboat. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go find that bitch at the bus terminal and cut her! You'll need this. And here's my number for later.